This episode of Big Cat Rescue is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash Big Cat TV to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. 10 Reasons to Avoid the Circus and Visit a Local Sanctuary Like Big Cat Rescue Number 1. Where is your money going? Admission to the circus goes directly towards human profit. True sanctuaries are nonprofit organizations. Your admission or donations go directly towards the care of the animals. Number two, get an educational family experience. Instead of showing your family how not to treat animals, take them somewhere where they can learn how to help and stop the abuse. Number three, visit animals in a peaceful and quiet environment. Skip large, loud crowds and come hear the only thing that's loud on our property, a roaring lion. <laughs> Number four, see animals that do not have to deal with traveling for a living. Circus animals have to travel all over the country, which could go on for months. These animals are forced to be confined in trucks, chains, and cages with no exercise. The only place our big cats have to travel to is a walk to vacation. Number 5. Support animals that are not kept confined to cramped cages. 96% of a circus animal's life is spent in cramped cages or transport carriers. As long as that animal can get up, turn around, and lay down, that is really all the space required. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we don't believe in that requirement. We give our big cats enough space to run around and be the wild animals that they are. Number 6. Our animals are not forced to do scary tricks for entertainment. Circus animals are forced to perform tricks that have nothing to do with how they would behave in the wild. Tigers, who naturally fear fire, have been burned jumping through flaming hoops. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we have an operant conditioning program. With this program, we ask our big cats to display all natural behaviors to help assist our veterinarians. This allows them to look over their entire physical condition without sedation. Number 7. Our animals receive only positive reinforcement and not abuse. During training, circus trainers like to use tools such as whips, tight collars, muzzles, electric prods, and bull hooks. Animals perform because they are afraid of being hurt and are scared of their trainers. We use only positive reinforcement with our big cats. They get treats and they're praised for doing such a great job. Good boy! Good boy! You're so smart! Good boy! If they really only use positive reinforcement, then why do they have to carry weapons into the ring? Wonderful! Good girl! Good job! You did a good job! Number 8. We respect our big cats for the wild animals that they are. We do not touch, pet, or go into enclosures with our big cats. These are wild and dangerous animals, and we respect them and their space. Number 9. See the animals relax in a stress-free environment. Oftentimes, you'll see circus tigers and lions performing with their ears back and cowering. This is a sign of stress and aggression. Our sanctuary is a safe haven for these big cats to lounge around and relax. Number 10. The only clowns our animals have to deal with is our loving keepers. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we dedicate our lives to providing the best possible care thanks to our wonderful staff, volunteers, and interns. Pledge to be circus-free by visiting NoCircusTigers.com.